help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. 14 days ultimatum given to Fulani in Lord Manta to live without looking back. And now they are running kitty kitty kata kata. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Igbo community? Igbo community in other regions. But you will hear Fulani community, Hausa community. Because they don't buy that land though. So one of the sabos will give to them in the name of governor or traditional ruler or whatever. They will now build those their small small uh, kiosk there as house and claim it to be their community. From there, they will be breeding criminals, kidnapping of all sorts, raping, killing, abduction, demanding for ransom, and exorbitant sales of cows. That is what is going on, even as we speak in Lord Banta. Who gave them Lord Banta? Is it not uh, Oju Sokalu? That is why our men say, no, we will not allow that to continue. Let me read what I have. They say tension rise in Abia State as northern traders appeal for intervention over eviction from cattle market. Tension are mounting in Abia State as leaders of northern traders in Lobanta Gaki cattle market appeal for intervention. The traders have reached out to prominent figures, including Bola Ame Tunubu and Sultan of Sokoto, <laughs> to help resolve the issue. 14-day eviction ultimatum issued by the Abia state government. Woto woto, you don't they enter. The vice chairman of the cattle traders in Lobanta, Buba Abdullahi Kede Mure, along with other leaders visited the office of the National Consensus Movement, NCM, in Kaduna to seek support. They expressed their concern over the ultimatum which they claim is unjust. The state government has alleged that the traders are harboring criminals, a charge that the traders vehemently deny. <laughs> we are appealing to our leaders to intervene and call the governor to withdraw the 14-day ultimatum for us to leave, said Kedemure, emphasizing their status as law-abiding citizens who have conducted legitimate businesses in the state for years. Dr. Awal Abdullahi, the national president of the Northern Consensus Movement, expressed his determination to protect the interests of the Northern traders. He called on the Abia state governor to withdraw the ultimatum, emphasizing that it is detrimental to both sides. He reminded the governor and other southern leaders that Igbo's own businesses worth billions of naira in northern state without facing harassment, and the same should apply to northern traders in the southeast. Awal expressed some concern that such action by the governor could lead to suspicious and conspiracy theory. Hmm. Hey, anyway, they have they are crying. Alex Oti say they should go. The advisor emphasized that Governor Alex Oti, um, they are saying he's tribalistic. We are not talking about tribes here. Remember, Igbos are scattered all over the world, right? Yes. They don't have communities. No. They are mixed with every other tribe. In other words, they buy land individually. Nobody gave them land to come and build house and have their community in Yoruba land. None of such you can see, or not even in the north, not even in anywhere in the whole world. No, anywhere you stay, you buy land, you build your house, you do your legitimate business. You don't form gang against indigenous people. That we will not take. The governor said they should go 14 days given to them. Lord Banta should be freed. It is Igbo land. Whatever the Igbo want to use their land to do, they will do it. If they want to sell their land, they will sell it. If they want to build industry on it, they will do it. Because that place is vast. And as I speak right now, Abia is not safe because of Lord Banta. 
when Ojizokan was governor, that thing happened. He gave Fulani because he's a Muslim, he's a Christian, he's just like chameleon. He's here, he's there, trying to buy his way into federal government. Now, what is the result? The result is that he was disgraced, rejected, and he cried in the public. <laughs> that is why we are telling the sabots. It is not about you. It is about the land. If the land rejects you, you cannot prosper. The politicians, because they are decimating our lands, the land of Biafra rejected them. They are not prospering. They won't prosper in Nigeria. The only place you will have this prosperity in politics is when Biafra comes. But in as much as you are against the coming of Biafra, remember, you have been stampeded. You have been blocked. You have been, you know, sidelined. You are neither here nor there. So, Lord Banta should be freed. Nobody say you are doing legitimate business or not. But what we say is that the land was given to you free of charge. And you should vacate that area. The height of insecurity is too much. That is where they are breeding kidnappers because they are the ones kidnapping. Whenever you hear a kidnapping case, check very well. You will see that Fulani people are the ones kidnapping. They will demand for millions of naira from evils. And sometimes, even when you pay these millions and billions of naira, they will still go ahead and kill their victim. So, how long do you think such thing will continue? I would have read further, but then what was the need? They are talking to Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Let him come to Lagos and give them land. It's as simple as that. When they evict you from Abia, come to Lagos and take land for free and leave. Come to Lagos and foment your troubles. You are talking to Saddam Sokoto. Let him give you land in the north. Of course you have land there. So why are you suffocating people that don't have land? We buy our lands, even in Igbo land. We buy our lands, all right? We don't take lands for grabbing. We don't grab lands like you people do. And you think it will sell for you at all times. Dear people, Igbo Echenjiko Boto Boto is the code. When they refuse to abide by the ruling of the governor of Abia State, Alex Oti, of course, they know the consequence of what it will be because... When they, our people jiku all and so we have all and so nobody should uh, intimidate you with all and so then gone are those days when it was only them that had all and so and they were threatening everybody with all and so every time uh, 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 we kill you uh, nobody will do anything we kill you we will do this we will do that we are the owner of government we are this we are that that game has suddenly changed and of course, we know it will change because what goes around comes around. If you have any Igbo community anywhere, please evict them. Let them go and buy land. Let them do what they're supposed to do. Let them do business the way they're supposed to do it. No thing of such. Nothing of such. You can't see Igbo community. No. No. It has not happened before. And it will not happen. Because nobody gives Igbo land for free. No traditional ruler. Whoever that say they have done that before should drop comment on this channel. Let us see and hear. Thank you.